The Bhagavata Purana, one of the most revered texts in Hinduism, is rich with stories that illustrate the divine wisdom and compassion of Lord Krishna. Among these, the tale of Krishna and his childhood friend Sudama is particularly poignant. This story exemplifies the power of devotion, the importance of humility, and the boundless grace of Krishna. Through the humble offerings of Sudama and Krishna's divine generosity, this narrative imparts valuable lessons on true friendship and spiritual wealth. Sodama, also known as Kuchela, was a poor Brahmin who lived a life of extreme poverty with his wife and children. Despite his hardships, Sudama was a devout follower of Krishna and remained content, dedicating his life to spiritual practices. His wife, however, was deeply concerned about their dire situation and urged Sudama to seek help from Krishna, who was now the king of Dwarka. Reluctantly, Sudama agreed to visit Krishna. His wife packed a small bundle of puffed rice, the only food they had, as an offering for Krishna. Sudama set off on his journey, driven by a mix of devotion and hope. Along the way, he reminisced about his childhood days with Krishna, their deep friendship and the joyful times they shared as students at the ashram of sage Sandipani. Upon reaching Dwarka, Sudama was awestruck by the splendor of Krishna's palace. Despite his ragged appearance, he was welcomed warmly. Krishna, recognizing his old friend from afar, rushed to greet him. He embraced Sudama with great affection and seated him on his throne, washing his feet and treating him with utmost respect. Krishna's queens were puzzled by their lord's behavior, but soon understood the depth of their bond. Hesitant and embarrassed, Sudama hesitated to present his humble gift. However, Krishna, knowing his friend's modesty, gently took the bundle of puffed rice and began to eat it with great delight. Each grain symbolized the purity of Sudama's heart and devotion. Krishna's acceptance of this simple offering demonstrated that it is the love and sincerity behind a gift that truly matter, not its material value. Sardama spent the night in the palace, enjoying the hospitality and warmth of Krishna and his family. The next morning, without asking for any favors, he took leave and began his journey back home. As Sudama approached his village, he was astonished to see a magnificent mansion in place of his humble hut. His wife and children, dressed in fine clothes, welcomed him with joy and gratitude. Krishna had transformed Sudama's life, rewarding his unwavering devotion and humility with prosperity. Some time after his return, Sudama's village faced a severe drought. The villagers who had come to rely on Sudama's newfound prosperity were desperate for water. Sudama, though grateful for his own fortune, could not bear to see his fellow villagers suffer. He decided to return to Dwarka to seek Krishna's help once again. Upon reaching Dwarka, Sudama found Krishna in deep meditation. Respectfully, he waited for Krishna to acknowledge his presence. When Krishna opened his eyes, he saw the worry on Sudama's face and asked about the reason for his visit. Sudama explained the dire situation in his village and requested Krishna's assistance. Moved by Sudama's concern for others, Krishna assured him that help would come. Krishna took a small bowl of water, blessed it, and handed it to Sudama, instructing him to pour it into the village well upon his return. Trusting Krishna's divine wisdom, Sudama carried the blessed water back to his village. As Sudama poured the water into the dry well, clouds gathered in the sky, and a gentle rain began to fall. The well filled with water, and soon, the entire village was drenched in life-giving rain. The fields flourished, and the villagers rejoiced, praising Sudama for bringing Krishna's blessing to them. This miracle strengthened their faith in the divine, and deepened their respect for Sudama. The tale of Krishna and Sudama is a profound lesson in the virtues of devotion, humility and friendship. Sudama's unwavering faith in Krishna, despite his poverty, exemplifies the power of true devotion. Krishna's acceptance of the humble offering and his subsequent generosity highlight that divine grace transcends material wealth. This story teaches us that the sincerity of our heart and the purity of our intentions are paramount in our spiritual journey. The story of Krishna and Sudama is a timeless reminder of the power of devotion and the boundless grace of the divine. It teaches us that true wealth lies not in material possessions, but in the richness of the spirit and the depth of our devotion. Through Krishna's wisdom and compassion, we learn that humility, sincerity and unwavering faith can transform our lives in miraculous ways. Saidama's journey from poverty to prosperity, guided by his deep love for Krishna, serves as an inspiration for all who seek spiritual fulfillment this tale encourages us to cultivate a heart full of devotion, to remain humble in our pursuits, 
and to trust in the divine wisdom that guides us through life's challenges. By embracing the lessons of Krishna's wisdom, we can find true happiness and spiritual abundance in our own lives. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the timeless tale of Krishna's wisdom and the power of devotion. If you enjoyed this story and found its lessons inspiring, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. We'd love to hear your thoughts and reflections, so leave a comment below and let us know what you found most impactful about Sudama's story. For more captivating stories and insightful content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an update. Until next time, keep seeking wisdom and stay inspired.